Welcome to Manhattan Project, where we review the movies. <laughs> Tonight, Drone and I went to go see Stronger, the new David Gordon Green film that we could have seen at the Toronto Film Festival, which we were at last week, but we didn't. But we, instead, we saw it here in New York. Take a look at us vlogging that. Darko, we didn't really vlog before because we were trying to get Evan into the screening, oh, right? Yeah. But we're at Regal Union, right? Yes. Drone, look at that big mother over there. <laughs> Look how small you are. The, the explanation point is bigger than you. Hey. So Stronger stars Jake Gyllenhaal as a real life guy who unfortunately lost his legs during the Boston bombing terrorist act that occurred five years ago during the marathon. So the film follows him sort of trying to recover all the drama in his life ensuing after him trying to recover from the injury, including his estranged relationship with his on and off girlfriend, Erin, who's played by Tatiana, the girl from Orphan Black. Take a look at the trip. This time when like, I just want to give up. And we'll rise up. I like the waves. We'll rise up. And, swipe and now, <laughs> I just want to live. So, Dorota, who's not in the video but is sitting right there and is in the vlog, I would ask you your expectations for this movie walking in, but I don't think you knew this movie even existed until like five minutes before we saw it, right? Correct. No trailers, no. No Correct. Order. So why don't you ask me my expectations? What are your ex what were your expectations? Was about? not looking forward to it. <laughs> I like Jake Gyllenhaal. I love uh, David Gordon Green, and the reviews were great. That was the one thing that got me pretty interested. But in general, I did not want to see another tragedy exploitation movie where they do a cash grab of making us like weep over a real life tragedy. It's like, come on, it's a real dude. Like, do we really need to make people go to Hollywood to watch this story? Like, anyway. I mean, he did write a book about it. True. But anyway, that was just my expectation going in. I'll say that. Stronger is a nuanced, respectful... Str Stronger is a nuanced, respectful, and thoroughly well-performed movie that ultimately avoids most of the issues I have with real-life tragedy pieces, like something like, let's say, Patriot's Day, which was a movie that came out last year that was also about the Boston bombings. So yeah, as you just heard, my expectations going into this movie were a little bit pessimistic, despite the fact that it had great reviews and I liked the director, but that's just because I'm really getting sick of these movies where it's like, uh, you know, like the, 30, uh, the 33 or whatever, the movie about the miners that were stuck or whatever. It just feels like every two weeks we get another film where just this blatant cash grab, you take some A-list celebrity, you throw them into this like shitty script about a real life person, and then like, boom, Count the, you know, count the fucking stacks of money as they rise up because people are going to cry either way when you have sad music. But this movie worked. Worked really well, actually. I thought, um, like I said, most of the performances really hold this high. But also the writing was surprisingly uh, original and, again, nuanced, to use the word. You get a real feeling for this character, for his life, for the people around him. And the conflict, most importantly... It was pretty cinematic. I felt like there was actually a story here. I know this was based on a book that the real guy actually wrote along with someone else, but either way, they were able to mine this story for conflict that is not as uh, cliche as the usual material that you might think when you saw when if you're seeing like a Boston bombing movie. Yes, it's called Stronger. Yes, it involves many scenes with him like trying to get rehabilitated and like struggling with that and the way that people react to him in the public eye and him being like considered a hero and how he struggles with that. Sure, there's, there's all that stuff. But really, I think what David Gordon Green was probably drawn to the project as well as Jake Gyllenhaal and why I really dumped the project is they take this specific, interesting, high drama of this character in the situation and use that to tell a story about relationships and maturity and, and stuff like that and um, like sort of arrested adolescence and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Jake Gyllenhaal plays a character who's like pretty immature and has issues with his girlfriend and at one point in this movie, I don't think that's a spoiler, his girlfriend gets pregnant. This is after the accident. And honestly, this movie could just work as a drama if it was about an immature guy who has an on and again, off again girlfriend that does too much for him and is getting fed up and then coming to terms with the fact that he has to now be a father and there's a lot of pressure to that. But instead, it's about that happening in the sort of foreground while in the background he's recovering and dealing with the emotional strife and turmoil that it would be hard for anyone of extreme maturity to deal with which is having you know 
a life-altering injury from a terrorist attack. And I thought it balanced all that shit really well in a, in a way that, again, fascinated me. It's not really about the terrorists. It's not really about the events. It's about how the people respond to the terrorists. It, it even does a really good job of showing potentially conflicting ideas of how, like, this guy's family could be really excited when the terrorists get killed, but, you know, him or his girlfriend might sort of be disinterested in the terrorists because it's, it's a lot more personal to them. Uh, and it's not, the movie's not necessarily pointing its finger or judging any of those characters for feeling any different way. Um, and it's also not a movie that's, like, about how beautiful and strong Boston is. Although, you know, I don't think it's disrespectful to the people of Boston. But, again, it's a surprisingly personal movie, a personal story, done really well with great performances that I was compelled with. Which is really cool, which is, you know, which is awesome. Jordan, what did you think? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it got pretty slow in the middle, but overall... Like you said, the relationship was kind of the main point of the movie. And that was really fun to watch. Him grow as a person and then grow as a couple. Yeah. I found it to be pretty affecting. I also found that it's a movie that like is trying to hit you with the feels and, and get emotional. And for the most part, a lot of the scenes that are attempting to be that way and the score and whatnot are a little cliche. They're a little rote. A lot of the same themes are kind of retreaded as far as like issues with recovery and fear and facing the world and stuff like that but by the time it all comes together with sort of understanding what this was all about and what the relationships are and how ultimately this character reconciles with his image as like a hero to Boston which is something he's sort of like uh, pushing against in the third act I found it to be extremely effective and I think the emotional core actually works really well so again I almost want to see this movie again now giving it more of the benefit of the depth seeing how smartly it was able to wrap everything up and what it was able to say about sort of heroism being a public figure and being a martyr and, and all sorts of things like that again very smart movie made by very smart people doing smart things uh, good female characters in this one which is rare in especially in a movie like this that's about Bostonites um, no offense Boston but like the, the way that movies that filmmakers seem to like want to endear us to you as a group of people seems to usually just be like isn't it funny how sexist the men are in this movie we have some strong characters we get some great diversity and like I said really strong performances all in all Stronger I think is a movie that uh, you know from the poster from the concert from the trailer if it's going to be too upsetting for you if it's going to be too unsettling there's some very graphic imagery regarding injury and stuff in this film if you can't handle that you don't have to see this movie obviously uh, I don't know why you'd be watching a review but if not, if, you, if you're if you in for something like this, or even if you're a little bit jaded and cynical about movies like this like I am, I think you might be surprised that Stronger is one of the better, one of the stronger uh, entries in this sort of category of real-life tragedy dramas, uh, biopic, whatever. And Jake Gyllenhaal and the, gar the girl that plays his girlfriend, Tatiana so-and-so from Orphan Black, both of them should be considered for some award attention, I would say. They, they give really strong performances, uh, both in their own right. Anyway. That's my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. This has been my review. Uh, we have a review of Kingsman, Golden Circle Up, that we saw. Stay tuned. We have a review going up of Battle of the Sexes, I think, later. Um, or maybe it's already up as well. I, it depends when we upload this thing. But at any rate, we review movies, so you should subscribe if you like to watch people review movies like us. Thank you.